This is a great story you heard about on Fox and Friends, and today we have an amazing update for you. The SS United States launched in 1952. It was once heralded as the greatest ship in the world, bigger, faster, and safer than the Titanic. It transported a million passengers and could even carry troops to battle if needed. But you know what? After retiring in 1969, America's flagship, as it was nicknamed, has been docked and falling into disrepair, just rusting away, destined to be sold off for scrap until right now. And here with an exciting announcement, we've got Susan Gibbs, the executive director of the SS United States Conservancy, and also the granddaughter of the ship's designer, and Edie Rodriguez, CEO of Crystal Cruises. Good morning to both of you. And first of all, congratulations. Thank you. This is great progress. So we're thrilled. What does this mean for the ship? Uh, what What do you expect the ship to eventually be and look like? I, I think the SS United States will reemerge as this glorious ambassador, global ambassador of American innovation, technology, and design. She That's will right. live again because Crystal Cruises is going to save the ship, right? Absolutely. Why? Well, because it's such an iconic vessel, both from a maritime perspective and also a fabric of America. I mean, her name alone. And so we're really excited to restore her to the grandeur with modern day luxury cruising. What will it then be used for? Well, we'll go around the world. Hopefully, we'll depart out of New York and take guests on voyages so they can experience the world in that grandeur. It really, Susan, when you look at the United States, it really looks like the old-time ship because it really is an old-time ship. When, when you look at that, uh, and why would somebody want to go on a ship like that as opposed to some of these new mega ships with uh, rock walls and uh, all sorts of things that they've got on them these <laughs> the days? The answer is obvious to me. No. I mean, this ship just has incredible history. And, and to experience the, the, the luxury, the grandeur, uh, is it, it will be a unique experience, and the conservancy is is passionate about preserving that sure. history, serving as stewards of the history in partnership with Crystal, as well as in, developing a land-based museum yep. and You're, to really curate this ship's amazing. You're history. obviously very proud of it. Your grandfather designed this ship and uh, obviously sailed on this ship. Who else? Uh, what's the history behind the ship? Uh, celebrities, troops? It was used for? Oh, sure. Over a million passengers. Uh, over her 17-year service career, four U.S. presidents, basically a who's who of celebrities and dignitaries sure. of the 1950s and 60s. Uh, no, she, she carried them all. Well, uh, Edie, you must be very excited, and Susan is very excited that you're saving the ship from being sold off for scrap. This it, Crystal Cruises is a higher-end cruise line, so this is going to be a fancy ride, right? Absolutely. Crystal is the world's most awarded luxury cruise line, and we fully intend to make the SS United States come back as a modern-day luxury cruise vessel. And we're confident there's an audience How for soon? this. Well, everything takes time. So pending the Gotta technical... Get out to <laughs> pending the technical feasibility <laughs> study, uh, we're talking at least a couple of years okay. from when guests can actually sell. A couple of years, our... and you expect the company's going to be sinking hundreds of millions of dollars into this. You, you estimate about how much? Well, at least 700 million, oh and we're confident that there will be a market for this and that she deserves to carry on that wonderful history. Returning to the days of glorious ocean travel. All right, uh, Susan Gibbs and Edie Rodriguez, thank you very much for ladies Congrats. for joining us live. Thank, thank you. you. It's great. All right, uh, coming up on this Thursday,